Hey, it's Paul Ingram with CollieCenter.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going through the different jabbing techniques that you're gonna find across the Filipino martial arts. If you wanna advance your Kali skills and explore deeper into the system of Kali, of Filipino martial arts, join me over at my online school over at CollieCenter.com. I have the link down below. If you train in the Filipino martial arts just like me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Let me know what style of Kali do you train? Maybe you train under a particular style or maybe you're very eclectic. Maybe you're just kind of mostly training here following along with Kali Center. Let me know down in the comments. And let's go ahead and have some fun and get to all these different jabbing techniques. In the art of Kali, we want to be able to use our body in every single way possible as a weapon. So across the styles of Kali, you're gonna find a lot of different techniques that cover something as simple as the jab. Let's go ahead and cover a few of them right now. So starting out, jab number one, we have that closed fist striking. In Kali, we have two methods of empty hand striking. We have the closed fist and we have the open hand. So first, we have that regular jab. Boom, you're gonna stick it out. Just like that boxing jab, right? You can come out, turn it, and then bring it back, boom. Usually stepping with that jab. We also have the vertical jab, pop, right here. Boom, boom. You're gonna find that technique in Kali. So you can go more with that horizontal fist or you can go more with the vertical fist. You can also go in with the diagonal fist as well in Kali. One of the things about these jabbing techniques is a lot of times, obviously we're gonna be following these up with combinations, but a lot of times we can also start following it up with an elbow so that we can close that distance. So pop, boom, right there. So in the art of Kali, that's why we like using also this diagonal type of jab with the fist in the diagonal position because it allows us to follow up with multiple types of elbow strikes where we don't have to really turn and articulate the arm in you know, a, a more dramatic kind of way. Like if I'm in a vertical right here, this is still good, but for me to go into a horizontal elbow, right, I have to turn it so much. Or for me to go into a downward diagonal, I have to turn it so much, which isn't bad, right? But you know, it's just a little bit less to do from that diagonal, boom. And again, if I'm in that horizontal and I gotta come upward, I have to turn it back in the reverse motion of what my first strike was, of what my jab was. Again, this is very doable, right, obviously. It's, it's still gonna be very good, but if I'm in this diagonal position, it's just a lot faster. So how much faster? I don't know, maybe a millisecond, but if you're in a situation, every single millisecond counts. More jab techniques that you're gonna find across the arts of Kali or Filipino martial arts is the open-handed jab variations. And we got a couple different variations right here. We have, of course, that finger jab. Boom, jabbing the fingers right up into the eyes. Just keeping the fingers nice, you know, loosely relaxed, held together, boom, and then right across the eyes. Sometimes you're gonna come more straight in, sometimes you might wanna wipe the eyes, right? But either way, you still have your finger jabs right here. Now the thing with Kali is you're gonna notice that in the closed hands, I was working everything in the left lead. And in the open hand, I'm gonna be working this in the right lead. Why? Because in the art of Kali, we wanna practice all of our skills from both leads. So I wanna make sure I can do all my closed fist strikes from the right lead and then also from the left lead. And make sure I can do all my open hand strikes from the right lead and then also from the left lead. Another jab that we have on the open hand series is we have the blade edge jab. So from here, boom, we're gonna use that blade edge. We're going right for the eyes, right for the bridge of the eyes. That's typically the target for the jab that we like to uh, go on, right? So boom, right there, pop, right there. Boom, right there. Now, you can also use the palm right here. So we have the palming jab as well. Boom, pop, right there. Now, in the close fist, when we use that rear hand, we call that either the rear hand straight or the cross, okay? But in the open hand, this could be the rear hand jab. We call it the jab, pop, right there. Boom, right there. And again, you can use this either with the blade edge, that knife edge of your hand, or coming in with the palm. Coming back into the closed fist, we also have the backhand jab. 
So this is where we're in that jabbing position and coming, instead of coming straight out like this, we're gonna curve it and we're gonna come more with a backhand type of strike. So we're coming out, boom, right there. Pop, right there. Boom, right, a little bit sneaky shot right there. So we got straight, boom, and then we also curve it to the backhand type of jab. Now since this is the art of Kali, if you don't know already, we must understand that Kali, this is a weapon art. This is a weapon system. This is not a weapon based system. Our empty hands are based off of the principles of the weapon, but this is a weapon system. So just like we have the jabs of the empty hands, we also have the jabs of the weapons. So from here, I could be in a chamber position, I could be in a half load position, either way, but we have our forehand jab, which comes out almost, it's not quite a horizontal slash, we're gonna kinda tuck it in and it's gonna go almost straight out. And we're gonna hit them with that last couple inches of the stick. Now if this was a, a sword, then it'd be the same thing. Boom, there's that forehand jab. Boom, right there. Boom, right there. Pop. And then we also have the backhand jab. Pop, right there. Exactly the same thing. We're gonna be hitting with the last few inches of the weapon, whether it's an impact weapon or an edged weapon. And we can start this off from the chamber position right here, what we call the number two chamber or down here, what we call the number six. You can even start this off down here at the four area and you could jab it out. This can go right to the eyes. This can go right to the elbow or to the body. It just depends on what kind of effect you wanna have with it. But there's your jabs with the weapon, with the long weapon. And of course in Kali, we don't just train with the long weapons. We also train with the short weapons as well. So from here with the knife, right? Now we also have the jabbing with the knife right here. Boom, right to the eyes. You can jab this to the hand, you can jab it down to the groin, you can jab it right up to the eyes, right up to the face, pop, right there, okay? And that means you can also do this in the reverse grip. Boom, right there, I'm not gonna really hit Bob with this because this is a trainer, but it'll, it'll go through Bob's face because it is a direct thrust, right? But again, you can thrust down to the hand, thrust down to the groin, pop, or thrust it right up into the eyes, face, neck area right there. And in Kali, this is why we have the open hand striking variations. And this is why we hold a higher emphasis on the open hand striking when it comes to the empty hands. It's because the open hand striking better assists the weapons. Okay, so from right here, if I had to, I could jab with the knife, but I could also lead with that backhand jab and then attack in with the knife, taking away my opponent's vision, pop, and then I can attack with the weapon. This doesn't even cover all of the jabbing techniques. This is just a handful. Remember, we still have other areas of Kali. We still have the staff and the spear, the espadia daga, the double daga, the double sticks, the flexible weapons. So we have a lot more variations. This just covers a few. This is one of the things I absolutely love about the art of Kali. It's huge, it's vast. You get to spend the rest of your life training your skills, learning new skills, perfecting the skills that you already have. And there's so much variety inside of this art that it never grows old. If you're like me and you think this is really cool, all the different ways that we can transform our body into a weapon or use these other categories of weapons to our advantage, and you wanna learn more, you wanna dive deeper into the art of Kali, make sure to head over to KaliCenter.com and go sign up to my online school. I'll see you in there, and then we can really go deep into all 12 areas of Kali. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're not yet, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so that way you're notified whenever I have a new video up and you don't miss any of our training. Make sure to go check out my vlog channel, Kali Center Vlog with Paul Ingram. I'll have the link right on up here at the end of the video and also down below. I'm having a lot of fun making these vlog videos. There's more martial arts, and I'm also showing you guys some martial arts that I've learned over the years that's not Kali. It's outside of the Kali. And a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. So head on over to my vlog channel, check it out, subscribe, and get caught up on all the videos. All right, so go explore all these different types of jabbing techniques, go have fun, and then I'll catch you guys back here next time. Check out how effective this jabbing technique is.